Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video we are going to take a look at the magnifying tools of Lightburn. Lightburn is the software that I use to laser engrave or laser cut with my lasers that I have and uh, well it's the most used software for laser cutters and laser engravers. Now in Lightburn there are a few very handy zoom tools and uh, these zoom or magnifying tools um, well a lot of people don't know how they work so if, if you don't know how they work I will show you here in this video now what you see here is my uh, light burn uh, software with the area of the laser that is now selected this is a laser that has a 45 by 45 centimeters working area and uh, of course if I work with another laser then I will see the same filling on the screen but my object that I'm working on can be smaller or bigger compared to that working size of my laser machine let me show you here I've got the 2 trees TS2 laser selected with a 45 by 45 centimeter working area. Now I go to the Atomstack P7, which is a laser that has 20 by 20 centimeters of workable size. And now you will see that it fills the same room here uh, on the screen, but the object that I'm working on appears to be bigger. And if I go back to the 2 trees TS2, watch what happens to the object. Well, it becomes smaller and it's more centered in the bottom corner. So this is what happens because I am working on a bigger machine with the same working area. Uh, this object is an object of 10 by 15 millimeters and well if the table is bigger and I'm placing it on that table then there will be more yeah, visible space around it. Now, you have several zoom tools. On your mouse you will have your scroll wheel and that scroll wheel can be used to zoom in and zoom out. And then you will see that you can lose track on the thing you are working on. But if I point my mouse over the object I'm working on and I'm using the zoom tool, which is the scroll wheel of course, then you will see that I'm, uh, yeah, I'm bringing it bigger and smaller in, in my workable area. And this is because the zoom tool zooms around the pointer of your mouse. So uh, zooming in and zooming out and using that pointer, well, it helps you to determine where you are zooming in and out. Now, this is all handy, but sometimes you want more advanced zoom tools and you have them because they are on the top of the screen in your toolbar over here ranging from here this is the zoom to page object to here which is the zoom to frame selection now you have multiple frames in this case i have two frames selected uh, which i can work with one is an object uh, a box and the other is a text object and well maybe I want to place that text object uh, inside that box there where I want to have it. Now it's, it's hardly to see here because it's so small you can't hardly see it. At first this button over here, this is a magnifying glass on the most left side. When I press it I will see my whole workable area. And this workable area is the complete selection uh, of that bed in which I can laser engrave from my machine. So it's, it's the whole workable area. In this case it will be 45 by 45 centimeters. But if your laser has other dimensions then it will be that, that dimensions of your laser that you selected. Now within this area I can also zoom in by using the plus or the minus buttons. But they are not that kind of handy and uh, you can do that better with your scroll wheel. But you also have this rectangular frame with dots and uh, it, it's a dotted rectangular frame. When I press this one, it will bring me directly to the objects that I have on my workable area. So those two objects are this rectangle and this text. 
which I can drag around and that was what I wanted and therefore I wanted to zoom in on this object. Now I can zoom directly to something I selected. So for example when I'm here and this is the selected text then I can zoom in directly to that. But it's more smart than that is uh, because you can also draw something else like for example this rectangle and now when I use it it will bring me directly to the last object or last frame that I made. It's not selected, so it's not the frame that is now selected, but the software kind of knows that this was the last thing I did and therefore, well, my zoom selection goes to this piece of, of uh, uh, or this frame where I was working on. So it's kind of smart. Now, if I want to go to everything, I can just select everything, like here, press the same button, and now it will bring me to my selection over here, which are this, this, and this, which is different from the whole part of the screen, eh? the, the whole workable area. So it will bring me to those frames. Now, for example, I will delete this one. Uh, now nothing is selected and there was not a thing that I was working on uh, for the last time I go here and now when I press it it will bring everything which is uh, on my workable area again so it kind of knows what I'm doing uh, I'm here I press this button boom and it shows me everything which is on my workable area but when I draw a circle here and I press that button boom it will bring me directly to that circle book because that was what I was working on although it's not selected so it's, it's a pretty smart tool now bringing me back to everything I was working on I can now delete this part uh, I have to select it of course boom uh, bring it more to the center of my working area like this and now I can select the tool for dragging it around and I can center it directly to where I'm working so yeah, this is a very handy way of going through your objects of your workable area and I think the zoom tools are very important if you have a lot of things going on on your workable area on your laser machine. So this was the quick tip about the zoom tools. Um, I make of course a lot more of these tutorials about uh, this software and if you like them well please give this video a like but also subscribe to the channel so that you will be informed about yeah, all the, the videos I make. And uh, also, uh, if you don't have a laser yet, or, or if you are willing to search for another laser machine, uh, I also make uh, yeah, kind of review videos about those machines. And uh, some of the good ones I already reviewed, there will be a link in this video, so you can watch them. Uh, and those are affiliate links, so when you eventually buy one of those lasers from these links, uh, well, it will support this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!